When they give the word raw or autonomous and different things and they start talking negative about it, the white man is actually saying that he's talking negative about God, period. Because there is no God outside of black people. There is no God that the white man produced or the white man is telling you about independent of black people. So therefore, if he takes one of the most supreme gods and says that he's negative and he's an entity and, took, and, and put people into slavery, then actually in actuality, in the esoteric circles, if anybody study the esoteric circles of what white people have tapped into, they say that the god above has got them in slavery. You see what I'm saying? It's got them in slavery. And we'll go deeper into that. So that's some things that's going on also with the movie. Um, but, they, but the movie is also dropping because Rob turned around and said, I created you. So that's the whole Yakub story. And he also drops and says that um, um, when they killed one black man and they made sure he was a black man that they killed, he said, now this is your God. Now when we go deeper into the science, they are actually telling you that in actuality that they understand that black people are gods. And they understand that in actuality, that what they're trying to do is, is to say that in actuality, they're trying to pit this enemy out that what you call the most high God. And when I, when I get deeper in this, it's going to all come together. What you call the most high God, the white man calls his devil. When you trace Satan all the way back, one of his name is the Baphomet that's, that's, that's worshipped by the Knights Temple. Temple. And when you see the Baphomet, you're going to find out one thing about the Baphomet. Even though they give it this hideous look in this goat's head and all this stuff, when you really look at this particular Baphomet, on some of the pages he's shown with braids and dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. The Baphomet is also depicted in the movie The Predator, which is a form of the white man's devil, the, the, with, the white man's devil with dreadlocks. This is real key because they understand that particular science. There's a new tarot deck that costs about fifty dollars, so you don't necessarily have to go buy no damn tarot deck for no fifty dollars. It's called a Baphomet tarot deck, and this particular deck coming from England has this particular god, or what they call the devil, in dreadlocks. It's key to that because the person that's going to take them off is you, based on something on the inside of you that he calls the beast. We'll go in. We'll go deeper into that today. A couple other books we're going to get to bear witness to the things that I'm talking about. Now, also. Uh, um, what is happening is, is, is uh, um, it's talking about, uh, they said that, uh, about the, the pyramids being older. Now, they did bear witness that the pyramids were older than the fourth dynasty. Well, the real deal about the pyramids is what we found out is, number one, the people who built the pyramids, it goes all the way back to the time of Atlantis, even though they do know now that the Sphinx is older. The Sphinx is at least two million years old, and now they're saying that the actual pyramid is about a million years old. Now, the key to the movie is they're telling you that extraterrestrials built the pyramids. But there's only one key to this in, in decoding white people's talk. When they say extraterrestrials built the pyramids, they're not talking about a race of people that's coming in independent of the black people that's already here and building the pyramids. They're saying that the black people that seeded this planet that they call the black people that built the pyramids that seeded this planet, the first people on this planet, they are called extraterrestrials because they understand that our origin is not just subject, subjugated to the earth or subjected to the earth. They know that our origin go all the way back to the sun, um, star sun Sirius. Uh, the, 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 all of the planets that you have have black people on it. Um, um, Andromeda, Regal, and all of these particular planets, and that's not just half of them. These are just the ones that we, we know in this galaxy. There's the saying that said that the black man colonized most of the U, the, 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 the universe, the known universe, so we are all over the place. The, the only person that's not in space, the reason why he is so doggone hell-bent on putting himself in space, is the white man is only on the Earth. He's not on any of the other planets that we have in this particular solar system. He's only on the Earth because the Earth is the lowest, and we'll go into that in a few minutes. So these are some things that you need to, need to be dealing with at this particular time with this Stargate because it's dealing with them. What they're trying to do is this. They understand that when this force comes back to kick the white man in the behind, they want to paint an ugly picture so you will say, oh, Lord, I'm scared because down here you think everybody, everybody. So since the white man tell you that's the doggone enemy, you will bear witness to it. The same way you bear witness when the white man tells you that there's an enemy outside of this country that poses a threat, pose a threat to the national security. So you go up in your own black land, Africa, you go to Haiti, you go to Kuwait, and you go anywhere the white man tells you because all because you believe what the white man says. You think that the white man, all the white man gotta do is tell you that that person is the enemy. 
and it could be your own brother and sister and that could be the enemy.